public acclaim for The Subject was Roses was enormous, but do you have a play that perhaps you're proudest of regardless of its reception? Dear Lewis, we all get bruised. Sometimes you mm -hmm. do bad work correctly, you're blamed. Sometimes you do bad work, you're praised unworthy. Every once in a while you do good work and it's not rewarded and those are the ones that really mm -hmm. hurt you. And I, so I did a play some years ago which is actually a prequel to Roses. It takes place in another place. Any given day, correct? Any given day, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a lovely play. Everybody, the actors, everything was great. And we got lovely notices and uh, what killed us, really, we took a dip at a Saturday matinee which we, what we thought no critic will be there. The New York Times critic yeah. was there. Nightmare. I don't know if it would have made any difference if we'd come a different time, but that was the play that really, really bruised me a bit. I do think one of the most challenging aspects of dealing with a, a public career like ours is the critics and the role they play. How do you as a writer either keep them at bay or at least in perspective when you work? It was fine when I started out. There were eight newspapers. Everybody came opening night. Everything built to a crescendo. Uh, you had eight different opinions. Then for the last many years, uh, the only, only the Times critic really matters. No, no, the other papers are gone. Mm -hmm. No one listens to television. Uh, not do, you, do you read the critics? Do you read them when they're Oh, yeah, about I know. Work? I always did. Uh -huh. No, 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 man. Uh, I wouldn't you dwell on them, but I, mm -hmm. no, I made it a point to read everything that's ever uh, written, then you say, look at it, and, uh -huh. and otherwise it becomes your imagination dwells on it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you go on. Mm -hmm.